Hi, I'm Mark, and I currently live in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And I want to talk today a little bit about who I'm voting for in November and why, and how I've gotten to this place. Uh, I believe in those fundamental conservative ideals. Uh, I was also raised an evangelical and still am an evangelical. Uh, I am somebody who was raised to, to believe that character and moral integrity count, especially in our leaders. I voted Republican up and down the line. But then 2016 happened. But along came Donald Trump, who decided that it was okay to denigrate and dehumanize minorities, the other genders, to, in many ways, denigrate our public servants in government, to denigrate the institutions, not just seek reform, but to upend them, to call into question the traditions of America, and American ideals that had made us great, that had brought us progress, hard-won progress, in fact. And he decided that those things were not worthy of our attention anymore. Donald Trump was inaugurated our president. And I can say now and still say sincerely, I wanted and still want him to be successful because his success is our success. However, in the years since, in these four long years since that election, it has not gotten better. He has sought to inflame division. He still dehumanizes people of different ideological positions, of different races, still making comments that show that he just doesn't get it about humanity, that he still doesn't understand what equality really means, what dignity and worth really mean. In those times since 2016, he has not gotten better on that front. Since 2016, in fact, he has not improved as a leader. He governs by executive fiat, executive order, what is conservative about that? There's nothing conservative about that. Top-down government. In the intervening years, too, he has not led as a servant, humble leader. And most of all, he has not shown any character or moral integrity. Who is going to be a leader that we can point children and impressionable young people to, to say that's what a leader looks like. Not you will agree with this leader all the time, but that is what a leader looks like. Because he's humble, he or she is humble, they have integrity and character, and they lead by example. I submit to you that that is not Donald Trump. And that's also why I will vote for Joe Biden, for a leader who I know has integrity and character, who has empathy and sympathy with those who are on the outside looking in to the system and who fundamentally believes in what has truly made America great, in its values and its traditions. I hope you will consider that today. Thank you.